Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Wolf Snipe versus Axe. Let's go. We're on Zoilent. Is X a Zoilent god? Because it begins with the same letter as their entire name. Who knows? But Zoilent's always fun. Wolf Snipe starting off with a very strong amount of damage, but with X getting that pickup, it's going to be difficult to just immediately take him out. But a beautiful first frag coming out from Wolf Snipe with a direct rocket. Going to get two direct rockets to pick up the second. And now Wolf Snipe's just dotting around, just trying to pick up the health. X going to blow themselves up. They, this is really not looking good for, uh, for old X here. Not doing the best out of it all. But Wolf Snipe is going to be just floating around on top of this all. Can Wolf Snipe manage to increase his lead? Is X going to be able to pull back? This map is kind of unique. Oh, a beautiful shot there from X, knocking Wolf Snipe straight off of the map. Yeah, this map's very unique. It has two mega armors, two 100 armors. X is an incredibly good rail aimer, so I think now he's got the rail, if he can, and if he can stay a little bit, you can see how much health it's possible to pick up very quickly. A beautiful shot there from Wolf Snipe. But yeah, this map, high damage, high amount of armor. Quite long battles because everybody tends to have armor and a mega health. Uh, the battles do tend to last a long time. Or they last no time at all because someone just gets bopped straight off the edge of the map into space. And goes down to that. But a lot of air shots probably going to be coming out today. Just like that. Mid-air shooting. There's also a lot of good tricks. There's a lot of verticality in this map, obviously. There's a lot of good uh, double jump tricks that you can use. Ramp, well, not double jump, but ramp jump tricks you can use to get up to places and get around a little bit. And it's really nice to see uh, when people do use those super uni uniquely. Along with a bit of blaster play, just th the safe route, the blaster, of course, just... Bop and stop. Oh, such good... Wolf Snipe is an absolute master of spam. He really is one of the best spam players in this game. You can see he's just able to place those shots and get an air shot while just kind of predicting where his opponent's going to be and just shooting generally in the direction that they should be. An incredible knockoff of the map just there. Utilising the fact that the knockback on the Vortex is really high when someone's in the air. And their ability to actually do anything about that, quite low. And usually, after you've been shot with a Vortex, if this map's on Clan Arena and you've not got any self-damage, then you might be able to use a rocket launcher and do some uh, self-shooting to get back up. I've seen it once done in Duel, but it tends to be. Once you've just been shot with a Vortex shot... You, you don't have enough health to really um, really knock yourself back up and do anything too, too fancy. Wolf Snipe has taken a fair little lead, a beautiful jump around the back to try and find X. He manages to connect with a beautiful shot, connect with the rail, finds the armor, but goes down quite a bit of health. X managing to connect with a couple of, uh, a couple of his own good shots, but it's off of the map. Sometimes I do wish there was a stat for out of maps on this. How many frags were actual frags and how many ended an out of map. You do often find that out of maps are... like You, fo you find yourself falling off of the map and you're like, well, I'm on two health anyway. <laughs> they didn't have to do much to find me there. Much like that. That frag, I think I saw 10 health, was it? Uh, I wasn't quite paying enough attention exactly where the shot landed. The... Um, yeah, just think sort of 10 health. Like there, 5. Does it matter? Wolf Snipe definitely running away with this game. But X has got a decent chance. I mean, if X can manage to knock Wolf Snipe off, that's usually where the turnarounds happen. This game, uh, sorry, this map, quite good for turnarounds because of that. It doesn't matter how much health someone's got. If you can hit one shot, you can potentially knock them off the side and 
take them out with any gun. The blaster included. It, it's something that's definitely underutilized is the blaster on this map. It's utilized a lot in CTF because people are using it for that movement ability and just have it out naturally anyway. Um, is one of my favorite things about Xenotic CTF is the fact that you have this such an incredible movement weapon that can also knock your opponent's aim off, uh, even if it doesn't do very much damage. But it's a nice little finishing tool, the blaster. Much forgotten about, I do believe. Wolf Snipe just making his way now around the back of the map. Trying to sneak in shots where he can. And keep X from really coming back into this game. Because it is still on for X to come back into this game. For sure it's still on for him to come back. Uh, he's just got to get a, get a foothold on here. But it's going to be difficult with Wolf Snipe playing like this. He's really making sure that he doesn't let X in. It's kind of the first consideration seems to be just don't let X get in. Because um, X is picking up armors. It's impossible to stop someone from picking up a decent amount of armor on this map. Because it's got the two mega armors, and you can't really stop, can't really control both of them. They're both in fairly dangerous places to stand. It's just sort of standing anywhere is quite dangerous on this map. But specifically those two armor rooms are some of the most dangerous places on the map to stand. It is looking like quite a decimation from X. And uh, he's making good shots. This is the thing. X is definitely making some good shots. And there's a lot of play that Wolf Snipe's having to having to really make make the plays to stay ahead. I feel it's one of those uh, one of those situations where the scoreline may look incredibly like it's just a decimation, and Wolf Snipe's ten times the better player. But actually, the way that Wolf Snipe's having to play, he's really having to focus. He's really having to push, and that just kind of shows that X is he's pushing Wolf Snipe. He's not letting him have this. As much as Wolf Snipe just wants to have this, X ain't letting him have it. Nice bit right up to the top. The uh, Sneaky tuber method is not available on the dual map. It's uh, removed. I'm not sure if it's removed in the map or removed in just the dual mode, but yeah, you can't get uh, tuber as far as I'm aware mid map in uh... try it in deathmatch though. Good shot from Wolf Snipe. He's trying to play very playing very defensively towards the end of this map actually. He could definitely push in and go more aggressive if he wanted to, but he's letting X come to him and again we see Wolf Snipe sort of tactical play of just standing back, shooting the um Shooting the spam constantly. Wolf Snipes, it was something Clapses said in a demo I cast the other day uh, before the game actually started, so you won't be able to see it in the video. But the uh, the accuracy of Wolf Snipe feels a lot less than what you're actually playing against. Because when you're actually in a fight with him, he's incredibly accurate. But he's just like this, just spamming shots, and that tears down his accuracy, but he's spamming shots with every weapon. And you know what? Some of them connect. Some of them connect. Because it's all well and good saying, oh yeah, I shot one shot and hit it. Well, Wolf Snipe can shoot 400 shots and hit two. And that's more than one. If you're just spamming it off in uh, 
spamming them off into the void and generally and also just denying your opponent from being able to move long fight going on here X probably not going to be able to come back. He's managed to pick up an armor and a health, but he's not going to be able to get back into the game. Wolf Snipe finishes it off with a beautiful shot there. Right onto X as he came up that bounce pad. Really tricky to come up that bounce pad, to be fair. But yeah, it wasn't a close game, but it was a very good game to watch. If you just, um, just consider if you're trying to learn how to play this game a bit better, watch Wolf Snipe and consider his his spam play and the way that he played that spam and i mean look at that 23 armors but only three mega helds out of the possible there's possible 20 but usually i call it about 15 16 that are realistically possible yeah incredibly good game thank you very much for watching see ya